In the past, a strange phenomenon has already been witnessed several times. A huge aggregation of sea hares feeding on blue-green algae is always an exceptional spectacle. There's an assumption that these animals reproduce in mass at this gathering. Generally, sea hares lead a more solitary existence. With raised head, a sea hare feels the water mass with his olfactory senses to perceive food. This sea hare isn't aware of nearby danger. Through its siphon, a shell has noticed the presence of the sea hare. She surfaces from under the sand and attacks her prey. A piece of soft coral on the bottom hides the presence of another sponge crab. They make a hole in the soft coral so that it fits perfectly on their carapace. The red emperor snapper seeks protection between the spines of a fire urchin. The urchin, however, is carried by a doropid crab that uses him as her own protection. When in danger, they all flee together. The hairy shrimp grows no bigger than three millimeters. She never stops eating and her small digestion canal is clearly visible inside her body. Excrement is, in a manner of speaking, shot away. In the shallow, calm parts of the Lembe Strait, young batfish form small groups. The round batfish mimics a leaf that fell into the water and drifts around near the surface. We often find them in mangroves and near overhanging trees and bushes. A long fin batfish is also hanging around in between them. He's got more stripes and most of the time hides in between the feathery tentacles of a feather star. Lionfish are territorial and if necessary, they'll battle to defend their territory. The fight is sometimes severe, but the loser will eventually leave the area without serious injury. Jawfish live in a hole in the sand. They're shy, territorial fish that come out only to catch food from the passing water stream. They have a large head for their body, with big eyes and a huge mouth. They dig a burrow by taking sand or small pieces of stone in their mouth and spitting them out again a little further away. They press the sand to brace their burrow using the underside of their jaw. They're always busy beautifying and improving their little home. They look menacing when an uninvited intruder takes over their little hole. This octopus is not welcome. The much bigger octopus has to flee when the jawfish claims his hole back again.
jawfish are mouth brooders, which means they keep their eggs with them well protected inside their mouth. After a week, they'll hatch, and the juveniles will rise to the surface below which they'll swim around horizontally. One week later, they're already 1.5 centimeters long, and they'll descend to start digging their own burrow. 